Hi there, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do a quick project um, showing you how to create a key fob with the name on it. And I'm going to use the border tool in Sew Up Pro as well as a font from Planet Applique. And I'm just going to jump right in, okay? So first let's bring our font in. And my font is located on my um, external hard drive. And I have it in my Planet Applique folder. And I have it in fonts. And the one I'm going to choose today is the Hawaiian font. It's really thick and really pretty. So let's go ahead and just go in there. And I'm going to do my little brother Gregory's name, but I'm just going to do Greg. If we do Gregory, we have to make it smaller. It makes the key fob longer. And, you know, it's fine if that's what you're going for, but I felt like that would just be too much. So we're just going to do simple Greg. Okay. So a G. We're going to choose open. And then instead of going in and going at file, merge, and adding the next file, we're able to choose icons. And then your font that you're working on will come up over here. As long as you have it in alphabet mode, you're going to be able to select it and it'll go on to the next and the next and the next. Okay, so let's go down here to the R. Okay, and then the E. And you choose the one that's going to be the best in Planet Applique. If I choose this E, it's going to be way too big. So you kind of have to just feel your way through it. Um, sometimes the smallest is at the end and sometimes the smallest is at the beginning. So don't just assume that it's like that. Um, I've done this as a run through so I know that everything is, is on the, the end. The smaller ones are on the end on this one. Okay, so... That's all we have to do. We go up here and choose icons one more time. And we have four different steps now, okay? But we want this all to sew out in one single step. So we're going to go up to Edit, Join Threads. Join all adjacent threads of same color, okay? And that's going to turn it into one thing that we can turn. And we can move and play around with, okay? So... We're going to go ahead and we are going to turn it. I was just being kind of flippant with it before. So we're going to turn it and we're going to bring it down to our corner. Give us a little bit of space for the border tool. Okay. And that's all you have to do to get your name on there. Okay. And the Planet Applique font for the Hawaiian font is really pretty and thick. It's really big and noticeable. Okay. So we're going to go up here to our border tool now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an auto border, okay? And that's going to border around here. The, the, what do you call it, default that it comes into whenever you bring this up is probably going to say running outline. It just brought, brought up the same settings that I used last time. But we're going to choose the bean outline, and it's going to most likely say 30 and 2, or at least this number on the top is going to be higher and this number on the bottom is going to be lower. But you have to switch that with the bean. That's a good setting for the satin, but it's not a good setting for the bean. Okay, so for the bean, we want it to be small up here and big down here. Okay, and we're going to choose our auto border and OK. Okay, and that's going to give us our pretty bean stitch that goes all the way around. All right, and so now to do the tab. This is where I spent a lot of time trying to figure this out, and I, once I realized it, it was so easy. Okay, so we're going to choose our border tool again. We're going to choose custom border, and make sure, okay, let's go to the border tool. Make sure all of your settings are the same, okay? Bean outline, 2 and 30. And let's close that because we already have it open. We're going to choose one point right here in this graph. Choose another point. Go down to this point. And, oops, I already did it wrong. Let's cancel that. <laughs> okay, so custom border. We're going to start down here, okay, because we only needed to have three sides. Oops. 
So you're you're going to want to cancel and start over if you want it to be perfect. Okay. But I think this will be close enough to perfect for me. So we don't have to close it off. Let's just choose click border or save border stitches. Okay. Let's zoom back out. Now we'll take this guy. We'll twist him sideways. And we'll join him to this one down here. Okay. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay. Okay, so you want it to kind of meld in there, okay? You don't want it to have any extras, anything that you have to delete and open again, or you know what I mean, add more stuff. So these all look really good. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go up here to edit. We're going to join threads again, join all adjacent threads of same color, choose okay, and that's gonna join this and turn it into one file instead of two. Okay, so we're gonna undo that. And then we're going to file or edit, copy, and then click out. And then we're gonna go edit, paste. Okay, that's gonna give us another one of these. Oh, hey, it grabbed both of them. So let's go ahead and delete that. We just need to have two copies of this bean stitch, okay? And now we're going to go to edit again. I'm gonna go to order threads and we're gonna make this number two, okay? That's all we're gonna do. Two and then change that to number one. Click okay. Okay, so this is gonna give us our die line and then it's gonna show us where to put our fabric. We'll put our fabric down and then it's gonna print out or sew out the name part. And then you're gonna put your backing on on the back. You're just gonna tape it on with um, just regular masking tape or not masking tape, but you know, scotch tape. And then um, once that's on, this last one is gonna sandwich <clears throat> everything together, helping the backing hide the yellow part that's um, part of the name, okay? So that's all there is to it. Once you've clicked out, let's go ahead and make it as big as we can. Let's resize it. The biggest it can be for mine is 3.9, but I'm gonna make it 3.88. Click okay, go up here and center it. Okay, and then click file, save as, and I'm just gonna save it on my desktop as Greg Keyfob. Oops. And save. Oh, it says it already exists. Must be from whenever I was trying out things earlier. I'm going to choose yes. And a whole new one is there. And that's the one that I used. Okay. So I'll be right back in a minute with some pictures showing you things that you'll need to do the sew out and showing you the sew out. Um, I can't do a video right now. There's too much stuff on my phone. But... Um, and, and I've deleted as much as I thought I could. So I'm not just having a cop out. But once I figure it out, I'll get back to, to video sew outs. But for now, um, it's just going to be pictures. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hi there. Okay. So I wasn't able to record the stitch out for this part. But I wanted to show you that you need your hoops. You need a top fabric, a bottom fabric. And um, because you're going to be doing a really thick satin stitch, go ahead and use the same color and same thread bobbin, okay? So fill your bobbin thread up with the same color that you're going to be using on the top, okay? And that's a really good rule of thumb to go to for most satin stitches. Okay, and uh, sorry about the noise in the background. My dog is having a cow. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have, once we put our stabilizer onto the machine, our hoop onto the machine, we're gonna press the number one, um, the first, there's gonna be three steps. We're gonna press the first step. It's gonna give us a die line and show us where to put our top fabric. We're gonna put that down. It's gonna print out Greg. It's gonna print out the pretty satin stitch of the name. And, um, and then we're going to take it off of the machine. We're going to put the backing on. We're just gonna lay it on and then put tape at the top and the bottom. And we're going to put it back onto the machine and we're going to let it stitch out that final bean stitch. And that's going to sandwich everything together and keep it where you don't um, see the back of the name. 
So um, I didn't take a picture of the back for some reason, but it's that really pretty shiny silver color. Okay, and I also wanted to show you that there's um, quite a few different kind of attachments that you can use for this. So, um, you know, kind of just let your mind go crazy. It doesn't have to just be on a keychain. Okay, so what you need um, to make this finished is your keep your cam snap kit or your snap kit, whatever you choose. But these are from Cam Snaps, and it starts with a K, K A M S N A P S dot com. And I think for 20 bucks, I got this and a little kit that came with some snaps as well. So you just put your snaps in, and then whenever they're um, whenever they're on correctly, you, you can put your your hardware in there and just snap it over. Alrighty, I hope that this was really helpful, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.